Welcome back to my Let's Build a Titan Rooster series. Uh, this is the final part, which is the maiden flight. Sorry this video is taking so long. Um, I've had battery issues, and as you can see from the footage of my first day I did a maiden flight, it was pretty terrible, and the footage was awful. So um, what I decided to do was A, wait a week, so I could get some new batteries sent over um, and also wait for the weather to be slightly nicer. Um, also, I've refitted the bolts because Armiton sent me some of the new versions of their bolts. So now we'll go to the nice day. Um, this flight is purely about making sure everything works. Um, this has not been tuned in any way, um, so it's literally as it comes straight out of the box. So I wanted to make sure everything's working. Um, so I've made no change to the rates or pits. So all I'm going to be doing is, for this moment, just trying to make sure it behaves as I expect it to, make sure it's not doing anything odd, make sure that when I flip it it's not cutting out, I'm not losing signal, I'm not having problems with the um, radio reception. So I'm just trying not to push it too hard but just make sure it does what it needs to do. Um, I'm having some issues with the roll rate that in that point it wasn't rolling as I'd expect it to, it wasn't rolling quite as far. Um, so I'm just trying to tune those things out but I, this isn't set up for tuning today, this is just making sure that everything actually works. Give it a little bit of boot, see if it goes up, and uh, make sure it rolls and spins and can power loop nicely. I mean, the pitch is really good. I'm really happy the way the pitch is uh, flipping over, so that's quite good. Really happy with that. Um, it's cold in the United Kingdom at the moment. Um, the batteries are not working as I would expect them to. They are not at their best because it's just cold out there at the moment. It might be sunny, but it's a little bit colder, so giving it lots of power doesn't really get it what you want it to do, it doesn't, it doesn't really respond as you're expecting it to, um, so I'm waiting for the, the weather to get a bit better before I really give it some beans, but um, I just wanted to see that how it responds and make sure that there's no weird beeps or buzzes or anything like that. So this flight, I'm just going to give it some beans off the start, make sure it behaves, so I give it some throttle, make sure it does all the things I'm expecting it to. Um, it's really strange because the um, my chameleon probably ran about a 30 degree angle on the camera, um, so the front camera is angled to make sure that you get, um, so when you're travelling at speed that you can see in a straight line. Um, so my chameleon was 30 degrees and the rooster runs at 35 degrees and I definitely noticed it. I wouldn't think I would but um, it makes quite a difference in terms of, uh, especially your low speed stuff, so trying to land it was actually quite difficult. So here I'm just trying to fly, make sure everything's working. Um, that it's responding, the PIDs are not right, it needs a bit more tuning, it's vibrating. Um, it had a good roll rate there, but I think it's the expo's wrong and uh, this needs adjusting. I just really want to make sure it all works. So um, now flipping over here, this is trying to do a sort of split S turn between the trees. Uh, it wasn't as I wanted it to be. Um, I had a few challenges getting the camera to work. Um, so the Foxy camera settings weren't quite right out of the box, so I've had to do a lot of adjustment to make that as I wanted it to be. Um, one of the things I'm really impressed with this frame is the amount of hang time I can get. So if I really boot it into the sky and give it give it lots of power, it really does hang up there quite nicely. Um, and it really doesn't weigh that much different to my chameleon, but it, the, the, the sort of torque in those motors really give it some momentum so it goes up really nicely. Um, and it hangs, so it hangs really well in the air and that's just quite a nice experience. I haven't had that before. Normally things sort of fall out of the sky a little bit more and this just has more poise and power to it. So here's me getting a little bit more exciting. Um, so just diving between these trees, uh, I nearly hit that post and nearly hit that tree. And it was trying to see what it would do if I, how it responded under, under, under stress and how I responded under stress. I haven't flown that much recently, so I'm still getting the hang of it um, at the moment, still getting back into the flow of flying. But realistically, I'm just trying to make sure that all the maneuvers I do are the right manoeuvres to make sure that all the things are happening, it behaves as I expect it to, um, and make sure it's consistent. Um, so I need to spend some time tuning this, so what I'll do is I'll take it down to the rugby club that I fly at, and I'll fly it around there. Um, basically, I'll use the on-screen display. Now, I might show some of that footage, but I think there's plenty of videos out there that are better than that. Well, now let's just finish up with a bit of a review. So just from a summary perspective, what do I really like? Well, the frame is really strong. Um, what you didn't see in that footage is I tanked it into the ground at one point into the field. Um, it held up nicely to that. The props didn't. Um, I also managed to it hit the ground a few times on the concrete, and it was absolutely fine with that. So it is a strong frame. It is, it is good from that perspective. Um, the camera mount is actually really good. I quite like how the adjustment on that works. So I actually prefer it to the Chameleon's camera mount, even though there's not quite as much uh, range on it. 
Um, really like the flight controller. The new version of the Matic flight controller is really good. I didn't have any problems there. It, it was easy to set up, easy to tune, really good from that perspective. Really like the 3D printed mount I've got for the back. That is really nice and clean and really easy to use. I'm really impressed with that. I mean, the design is excellent, fitted perfectly. Um, PDB and VDX, VTX was also really good. Um, I hadn't used that before. I mean, I've used Unify Pros through every other drone I've ever had. Um, that all-in-one is really, really nice. It works so well. Um, it's so easy to use. It's so easy to set up. Um, it really made the build really good. If, you were, if you're doing a new starter to this, or you're coming into this hobby, um, the Matek F405 STD, still a bad name, um, and the Hub... Uh, the Hub VTX, um, it'll be on the screen. Um, that is a really good build, really makes it easy to do things. I really recommend those. Um, the Titan motors, I couldn't get the most out of them because I think it was too cold and couldn't get the batteries, but I really felt there was a really good punch. Um, it could really chuck the um, the drone into the air and that was really good. It, it, I could definitely feel the difference in the hang time um, over the top of the motors. I think I probably need to run bigger props on it. So I will do that and report back. So on the negative sides, I didn't enjoy this build as much as my Chameleon. I enjoyed the Chameleon. Everything felt perfect in the Chameleon. Everything went together so well. Um, I, I'm, I love my Armiton stuff. Armiton makes some of the best stuff. They have the best customer service and they have a fantastic warranty scheme. Um, I think it's a bit of a shame that they had some problems with the bolts. Admittedly, they sent me new bolts and that was absolutely fine. I tried refitting the rear plate to hold back down the um, the rear, uh, the the, the, the rear the rear legs um but that didn't work i i tried fitting it i still end up with too much slack the the press nuts were actually the problem um they they threaded them um, and i wasn't going to try and replace them um i've used the nylock nuts they are great i really like them i just think it's a bit of a shame it it feels like it was they, they were getting it out the door it's a good product it's a good frame it flies really well but they just didn't quite get the the quality control on that or they were let down by some quality control on some of those things i just think it's a shame um so yeah so that's a that's a bit of a negative um a 35 degree angle for the for the gopro camera i mean i know you can put some foam underneath it for me it feels a bit high but i am not as good a pilot as other people who probably could fi find that fine it just made it difficult for low speed i try and make sure that my camera my video camera for the what i see and my gopro are at the same height um, just because it means that i know what i'm seeing when i'm flying and i can know my footage is the same as what i'm looking at so it's a bit high for me i would prefer it to be 30. i did quite like the fact it was adjustable on my chameleon but to be fair i adjusted it once and never ever changed it um so I also think that the rooster is probably not a beginner's build for two factors. One, the, the piece at the front, which I'm I'm not going to go into again. Um, but the the part of the back, the, the 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 space you have to play with is not massive. Um, so I wouldn't say it's a beginner's build. Um, I would say it's probably mid level. Um, not, it's not advanced because there's far more complicated things out there. But I wouldn't say, if it was someone saying they're going to do this the first time, I wouldn't suggest this frame for the first time builder. I probably would do the Chameleon because it is actually a very nice frame. There is a, there is a less gap, but it's easier to put together from that perspective. Um, the other thing I didn't think was as good in this build is I switched over to the Foxy Arrow. Now I did really like the fact it's got a separate little cable for the OSD. I thought that was really really nice and made it easier to set up and change. In fact I changed it today on the field which was really nice and easy. Um, I don't think the settings were as good. Um, I don't think I got as good a picture as I did with my um, Roto Riot Run Cam Swift. Um, that Roto Riot Run Cam Swift was really good although I know loads of people had loads of problems with consistency on those but that was really quite good. So that's it for this series. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I've learned an awful lot by doing it and really thank for those people who have subscribed, those people who have viewed it. It's, it's really nice to have people supporting this. So I've got a list of content that I'm going to be producing after this. Um, so hopefully you keep subscribing and you will keep watching my content um, and I'll update you on my progress of my um, rooster. So thanks very much and I'll see you around.